getting ready to have implantable contact lenses, which I believe are like permanent contact lenses that they stick inside your eye. And I have had the worst eyesight for forever. I started wearing glasses when I was about seven and contacts when I was in about eighth grade. And um, I am dying to not have to wear them anymore. <laughs> I surf a lot and to not have to worry about losing my contacts in the water would be fantabulous. <laughs> The ICL procedure is an alternative and it's a premium vision correction option. It's often used for people that cannot have laser vision correction because their prescription is too high or their cornea is too thin. My current vision right now without contacts or glasses is uh, I can see about this far from my face. So I'm pretty much illegally blind. Uh, yeah, dangerous in a car if I don't have contacts in. <laughs> kind of a feeling of, of helplessness, like I can't do anything for myself without my contacts. I can't see, I can't drive. The advantages of the ICO are there's less nighttime glare, there's a higher definition vision that is obtained with the implantable contact lenses. As I'm getting ready to go in for the surgery, I'm kind of freaking out, <laughs> but at the same time, completely excited to not ever have to wear contacts again and to not have to deal with glasses. And, and I'd had to wear the, my glasses the week before the surgery, which I look like a complete dork <laughs> to never have to do that again. I'm way more excited than I am nervous. So I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> the drops feel pretty good going in. They sting every once in a while, but other than that, they're not too bad. The surgery was pretty short, actually. The longest part of it is actually the dilating with the drops. That takes like 45 minutes. And then they give you a little sedative and they will you in and you're like, ah. <laughs> and they cover your face with the something. Plastic, so just the one eye is showing. And then you start seeing a whole bunch of psychedelic lights. <laughs> so it actually, uh, it doesn't, you can't feel anything. Maybe a little tugging here and there when she's doing, I think the sutures, I'm not really sure. It's fairly, a fairly easy surgery. I wasn't really in any discomfort. The ICL procedure consists of making a tiny incision into the eye, inserting the implantable lens so it sits just over one's natural lens of the eye. The recovery is pretty much instantaneous. As soon as she re removed whatever it was that was covering my face and the microscope after the surgery, I could see her. I could see Dr. Feldman's face like, in front of me, clearly. So it's, it is, it's instantaneous. So you should know I'm already a little clearer. Yeah. Totally. See, look at her smile. <laughs> it's beautiful. That's my most favorite thing, <laughs> is that smile. <laughs> right after surgery, I'm oh, pretty, yeah, well, pretty dang good. good. <laughs> pretty happy. Um, you know, it's exciting and feel it. I actually see out of both eyes now. It's great. I am very happy with my results. <laughs> to be able to wake up in the morning and, and not have to fumble around looking for my glasses is a miracle. <laughs> As her mom, I just think this is so exciting, so wonderful. Such a gift. She's an outdoors person. She, she is very active. She dances and uh, surf and does all kinds of daredevil things too. <laughs> She's just really a fun-loving person. This will just give her freedom to go ahead and do all this stuff without being very careful about her eyes. During Valerie's post-operative visit, we checked the vision in each eye, we looked at her eyes under a biomicroscope, and we also checked the pressure in her eyes. We wanted to know exactly if there's any little prescription left or not. Her vision's phenomenal the first day after surgery and has remained so. Right now without contacts, like it's very clear right here, you're clear. When I get a little further, they're a little softer on the edges still, a little blurry, but it is expected that as you heal, it gets better and better. So I'm testing it 2020, like I could drive, but I'm expecting it to get even better. It was absolutely amazing. It is, it was seriously the best thing I've ever done.